In 2003, I had surgery in June. Two weeks later, the 4th of July, um, I was going to do some barbecue grilling. Later, I went out to make sure the grill was cooled off, and I thought, what is that light over there? And it was a sunset, and it was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. My wife, she's blind too, and she's uh, on dialysis and, and is usually in a wheelchair. We go out to restaurants and go to meetings and things. I can push her as before I couldn't because I couldn't see where I was going. So that's a big, big help. The Foundation conducts research in many areas and has been instrumental in finding improved treatments for aniridia. I actually was born with um, the lack of the iris or the color part in the eye. And Dr. Price, um, I had seen an advertisement that he was doing research on artificial iris implants. And anybody that's filming knows how important the aperture size or the f-stop is in your camera. These people don't have one. It's open all the way, so they have no depth of focus. Uh, these are people that, you know, you and I go to a movie matinee and come out in the bright sunlight, we're blinded, you know, we're incapacitated. That's the way they are all the time. I can really relate that we take a lot for granted, um, but I had never really seen a star in the sky. And now, you know, I'm able to see that and really appreciate that. Um, driving, you know, was a huge issue. Being able to be so independent, I didn't know what that was like because I never had the opportunity to drive. What makes Dr. Price and the Cornea Research Foundation special is because he reaches so many people's lives, not just here in the States, but also internationally, and he really wants to make a difference. And that's what, you know, life is all about. When I go out and I, and I speak and I tell people about my surgery, I'm able to tell them that how much of a difference it's made in my life. To me, every day is like Christmas because this was a gift that I was given.